Section 7.2 is all about the law of signs. So we have three objection, objections, objectives for this section. We want to solve side angle angle triangles, angle side angle triangles. Uh, we're going to solve side side angle triangles and a prop and a pl different applied problems. So friendly reminder, an oblique triangle is any triangle that's not a right triangle. Remember, right triangles have 90 degrees. These could be acute triangles where all three angles are less than 90 degrees, or it could be an obtuse angle where a two obtuse triangle where one of the angles is greater than 90 degrees. To solve an oblique triangle means to find the lengths of all of its sides and the measurements of all of its angles. To do this, we need to know the length of one side along with two angles, one angle and one other side, or the other two sides, so all three sides. There are four different possibilities, four different cases to consider. Um, we can solve these using either the sine law or cosine law of cosines, which is section 7.3. So case one is when we know two angles and a side. Case two is when we know two sides and the angle opposite one of them. Case three is when we know two sides um, and the included angle. And then case four is when all we know is the three sides. Law of sines is used to solve case ones or two. So here's the law of sines. So the law of sines says for a triangle with sides A, B, C and opposite angles A, B, C respectively, remember it's this guy, right? Like if I've got length A, B, C, the capital letters are the opposite sides, the angles opposite that side. So sine of A over A is equivalent to sine of B over B is equivalent to sine of C over C. And friendly reminder that all of the angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So let's look at case one, which is side angle angle or angle side angle triangles. So let's solve this triangle given that A is 45 degrees, B is 55 degrees, and little a is five. So I know that sine of A over A is equivalent to sine of B over B. And the three measurements I need to find are capital C, lowercase c, and little b. So I can use this to find sine of B. I'm going to multiply both sides by B and then multiply and then go ahead and divide, uh, multiply both sides by A and divide by sine of A and I would get B is A sine of B over sine of A. So I get that B is five sine of 55 degrees over the sine of 45 degrees. And that is about 5.79. So friendly reminder for this section, you are gonna need a graphing calculator and it's gonna need to be in degrees, not radians. So I have a side length of 5.79. I can also go ahead and find C. Right? I know the other two angles. C is going to equal 180 degrees minus A minus B, which is 180 degrees minus 45 minus 55 degrees, which is going to give us 80 degrees. So C is 80 degrees. The last thing I need to find is little c. So we can solve that by taking sine of C over C and setting that equivalent to sine of A over A or sine of B over B. I did A. So sine of 80 degrees over C is sine of 45 degrees over 5. So I would get that C is 5 sine of 80 degrees over the sine of 45 degrees which is about 6.99. So I found my last side length and I've officially solved this side-side angle triangle.
Next, we're going to solve an ang uh, a triangle for which we know angle side angle. So let's solve the triangle given that A is 20 degrees, B is 25 degrees, and C is 4 degrees. I always like to start with drawing a picture, even if it's not 100% accurate, it, it helps me a lot. So A is 20 degrees, this is little a, B is 25 degrees, this is little b, and C is unknown, but little c is 4. I can go ahead and determine my C because I am given A and B. C equals 180 degrees minus A minus B, so 180 degrees minus 20 degrees minus 25 degrees would give me 135 degrees. So see, I didn't draw this right. This isn't an obtuse triangle. Um, I always draw acute triangles. So this is 135 degrees. Using this information, now that I know all of my angles on one side, I can use the law of sines to find the lengths of sides A and B. Sine of C over C is the same as sine of A over A, and sine of C over C is the same as sine of B over B. So let's solve for A first. I get that sine of 135 degrees over uh, C, which is 4, equals sine of A, which is 20 degrees over A. We solve and find A is 4 sine 20 degrees over the sine of 135 degrees, and that's about 1.93. So I found the length of side A. For B, we do the same thing. Sine of C is 135 degrees over 4. Sine of B, well, B is 25 degrees over B. We get that B equals 4 sine of 25 degrees over sine of 135 degrees, which is about 2.39.